The Donald Trump administration's first work week began with a flurry of exclusive executive orders, rather, including one to withdraw from the Trans Pacific Partnership or the TPP. Kim Hye Sung dissects the possible repercussions of this decision, including how it could affect the Korea U.S. free trade agreement. It was a campaign promise put into action. On his first official workday, U.S. President Donald Trump signed an executive order to formally pull the United States out of the Trans Pacific Partnership. We're going to stop the ridiculous trade deals that are taking everybody out of our country and taking companies out of our country, and it's going to be reversed. On the campaign trail, Trump pilloried the 12 nation trade pact negotiated under the Obama administration as one that harms U.S. interests, saying that he would pull out of the deal in his first 100 days in office. The TPP represents roughly 40 percent of the world's GDP. Countries like Japan and Australia, which try to boost their relations with the U.S., will be hurt by Trump's decision. That's why the two countries' prime ministers said they will look for ways to save the pact after Trump's announcement. But Korea, which is not a party of the deal, will be affected very little. Trump has said he will seek one-on-one -on -one trade deals that puts U.S. interests first, pledging to renegotiate NAFTA with Mexico and Canada, and leading to concerns that he may also try to renegotiate the Korea-U.S. free trade agreement, which took effect in 2012. During the campaign, Trump criticized the Korea-U.S. FTA as killing U.S. jobs and manufacturers. While it's too early to say whether Trump will drop the deal or renegotiate it, it could happen. And if he does scrap the FTA, it could cost Korea over 13 billion U.S. dollars in the next four years due to higher tariffs. Experts say the Korean government needs to watch the situation closely and come up with measures to deal with the many possible scenarios. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.